each prime factor of q is also a factor of p but we don't know about the powers of these prime factors for example p may have a 2 in the numerator p may have a 2 but q may have a 2 square so in this case we will get no as an answer and if the power in the numerator were higher then we would get yes as an answer so statement 1 is not sufficient come to statement 2 the total number of factors of q is lower the total number of factors of p may be higher but the factors may be different and even if the factors may be same these conditions may still apply that the power of any one particular prime number may be higher in q than that in p and therefore statement 2 is also not sufficient on combining also this condition cannot be eliminated so for example Q has 12 factors, so 2 raised to power 2 into something like 3 raised to power 3. So now number of factors would be 2 plus 1 into 3 plus 1, 3 into 4, 12. And here this is 1 into 3 raised to power. This has 24 factors. So let us say this is 11. So number of factors here would be 2 into 12, 24. But see, this is not an integer because you would still have a 2 in the denominator. however if the numbers were something like this 2 raised to power 2 into 3 raised to power 7 see this has 24 factors and this is 2 raised to power 2 into 3 raised to power 3 so this has 12 factors this has 24 factors both the conditions are being satisfied here this is yes that yes this is an integer here also both the conditions are being satisfied but the answer is no so even after combining yes and no both are possible therefore combining is also not helping and e is the right answer